Today is Australian Reading Hour, a national day to celebrate the joys and benefits of reading. So what better time than now to be talking about young children and reading? Now, if you're a child in the first few years of school, reading's a pretty big deal. A chunk of every school day is devoted to it. And if you're a parent of that child, you would probably hope your child learns not only how to read, but they learn to love reading. More and more children are growing up knowing how to read, but they don't enjoy reading. Some children refuse to read anything unless they're forced to. We have a name for that now. It's called a-literacy. But let's talk about learning to read because you can't love reading if you don't know how, right? Studies have shown that children who love reading, who read every day for pleasure, learn to read more easily, while those who don't enjoy reading often fall behind. Reading for pleasure is also, would you believe it, pleasurable. That feeling of becoming immersed in a book, of getting into a state of flow where time stands still, and an hour feels like five minutes. I believe this is one of the greatest gifts we can give children. So, what are schools doing to promote children's reading for pleasure? Teachers in those first few years of school are some of the best place to teach children about the joys of reading. In my research, I want to find out what teachers are doing in the classroom to promote children's reading for pleasure. And I want to know what teachers believe about the importance of reading for pleasure, because studies show that teachers' beliefs are the greatest predictor of their practice. Some research has also shown that teachers' beliefs don't always match up with their practice. Now, this could be because of an overcrowded curriculum or different expectations from higher up about what's important to teach and what isn't. Or they could just be in their first or second year of teaching and they're still finding their feet in the classroom. I'm going to look closely at these relationships between teachers' beliefs and practices using classroom observations, interviews, and collected documentation. So why is this important? Well, the more we know, the more we can do to really support teachers, and consequently, to provide the best possible education for our children. Thank you.